do we still count on technical analysis to give us definitive numbers, or is it just like anything else? It's an art, not a science. I mean, oh. are, have you lost any faith whatsoever? Oh, not at all. Numbers? I mean, it's okay. my day job, right? Yeah. I, you know, to me, the levels are always important, and when you do see the violation, you have to make sure you have these qualifiers in place. So you spend more than just a week below, a couple weeks below, and that would be a confirmed breakdown. So it's how you qualify the levels. Now that we've seen short-term momentum improve on back of we had some overbought conditions and consolidation late February into March. Now that's been worked off. We've seen short-term momentum improve, and now levels are being cleared on the upside. Versus December 26th, just saying we've seen some improvement. I mean, that is, that's what you call improvement. I mean, that is, that's like a rocket ship. Right, almost. right. The relief rally was very, very impressive. So we saw intermediate-term momentum kick in a few weeks into that relief rally, and it really continued. So okay. we have to believe it. The breadth expanded, technology relative strength expanded, and uh, reached new highs. 2800 was a, uh, an area that we talked about a lot, that, that it had trouble getting through. Are we, you, you're confident we're through that? that is it a, I am. We're through 2800. Is it a support level now? Or, well, we or need is there to look past the S&P 500. Okay. I think what I'd love to see is the Russell 2000, a small cap benchmark, here it's 200 day moving average. You can see a very common technical pattern on that chart called an inverse head and shoulder. That tends to be bullish if you see the breakout. So I'd love to see confirmation from the Russell 2000. The S&P 500 to me has already broken Where's out. Where's the Russell got it? To see breakouts overseas too. What number is that for the Russell? It has to get to what? What did you say? 50? I think it's around 1600. Around 1600. Right. Okay. Short term bullish. Long-term neutral. Long-term neutral. And, Why? and that's because of the breakdowns that we did see in Q4 and the fact that they affected long-term momentum. So we have not seen long-term momentum turn with this relief rally, but we've seen intermediate-term momentum. Well, so what does that mean? probably only a matter of time. Okay, before it gets bullish? Yeah, probably, yeah. Really? So these indicators tend to have a lag to them, and that lag is actually helpful in that it eliminates some of the noise of the market. The market's obviously been very noisy lately. So to me, I think when we see new highs from the S&P 500, we'll get that long-term momentum buy signal. So the long-term uh, indicator could be in a short-term position. So a long-term indicator can it's change. Narrowing. So it's not long-term. It's, it's long-term neutral. It has to stay at well, neutral. You went, can't all of a sudden make it positive. Well, it went negative actually back in October. Yeah. So then with a lag of a couple months, you know, okay, so again. Okay, so with the prospects, is there, you don't, for the s and I hate to keep talking S&P, but do you have a... Uh, are the old highs where the, where the resistance is now? And, and resistance, yeah, 2941. That's the September high, essentially. And then beyond that, there's no resistance left on the chart. We've never so been we have there to, before. That's right, uncharted. Territory. What's your gut telling you about where we could go this year? Beyond that, this year, uh, you know, I feel 3,000 is definitely attainable, um, and we'll see a close above that. If the momentum has turned right. to some degree. So that seems attainable, but beyond that, 3280. You don't have any target. yield curve or dollar worries or anything like that. You just the dollar looks like it might break out uh, to me. So I'm watching the dollar index around 98. I don't know so if that'd that be would good or bad. Affect some relative strength in right. emerging markets, at least.